Hello friends, Kishan is here again and in this video tutorial I am going to talk about the by predicate. It's a functional interface which belongs to the java.util.function uh, <coughs> package and here we will see how we can make use of this functional interface. So if you look into this functional interface by predicate, so there is a method is called test method which accepts two input arguments and returns a boolean result. right? and this functional interface has a several default method as well so by predicate is a functional interface which accepts two arguments and returns boolean result uh, you can apply business logic for the values passed as an argument and returns a boolean value uh, by predicate functional method is called a uh, test which accepts two input parameters and you can apply business logic on these two parameters and finally you can result you can return a boolean value so here i have created a project with name by predicate functional interface demo and i have created a class with main method here i am going to show you how to how to make use of by predicate functional interface so let's create a let's define a lambda expression for by predicate so key um, first input i am going to specify as integer and second input i am going to specify as a string <coughs> and as i told you this is a functional interface so of course we can define a lambda expression for that functional interface right so here i am going to specify i itself for input and i would say o for output and let's define a functional interface i would say i greater than 20 and and o dot start with so second parameter you have a string right so i uh, so just i'm going to check whether second parameter second input is a start with some a specific character like r or you can say m now we have defined a lambda expression uh, for this functional interface and this functional interface is having a only one abstract method so for this we have this behavior we have defined as a lambda expression over here and now we can call method on it right so we can call test method on it so we have a reference of by predicate and using this reference we can call its method and that method is nothing but the test method right so test method you can call and here i'm going to pass age as 30 and name i'm going to pass as soon and similarly we can call this api many times so i'm going to pass age as 40 and this is at martin and age is 10 and frank so of course for this call this is gonna return you false for this call age is greater than 20 of course this is true and and uh, name starts from m and that's true so for this sop this is gonna return true and for this also false because first parameter itself getting false age is less than 20 so let me run and show you so here look at here first value is false second true and then false so this way we can make use of by predicate all right so here we have i have passed wrapper class and a string class object but in here you are free to pass any kind of object right because these two parameter takes generic data type so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial.